Welcome back to module 10.2. In this lecture video, I'm going to show you another way to graph our linear equation. So the second way to graph linear equation is actually by finding and plotting what we so call the x and y intercepts. So I mentioned this back in module 10.1, where on the x-axis, all the y values are zeros. And on the y-axis, all the x values are zeros. So I wrote these two things down because what they are are what we now so-called the x and the y intercepts. So what is an y intercept? Basically, a y intercept is where the equation of the line cross over the y-axis. That is called the y intercept. So to find the y intercept, okay. It means find the y value when the x are 0. Because remember now, on the y-axis, all the x values are 0. So, so in order to find the y-intercept, we will substitute 0 for x and find the y. So that's the reason why in the previous video in 10.2, I mentioned something about finding um, using 0 for x or using 0 for y. Okay, um, to find the two points, which is easier to calculate. So at the same time, I was also trying to introduce the y-intercept and the x-intercept. So what is so-called the x-intercept is where my line cross over the x-axis. So that's called the x-intercept. So on the x-axis, all the y values are zero. Our job is to find the x value. So in order to find the x-intercept, we will substitute 0 for y and find the x. So just be careful. Make sure you know the difference between which one is which, okay? Um, because you don't want to key it in wrong on the, on the homework. So there are a few examples here where we can, um, where we are finding the x and y-intercept. So I'm also going to just do this um, on the side here where... I'm going to show, I'm going to copy a graph over real quick. Maybe I can at least graph one for you. Put it right here. All right, so let's give it a try, okay? Find the y-intercept and x-intercept. So let's, I normally find x-intercept first. The homework wants you to find y-intercept first. So in order to find x-intercept, our job is to find x when the y is zero. So substitute 0 for y, so that will give me 10x plus 2 times 0 equal to 10. And positive 2 times 0 is 0, so that term is gone. That leaves me with just a 10x equal to 10. Divide both sides by 10, my answer x equal to 1. So my x-intercept, 1 comma 0. X-intercept always located on the x-axis. So if I just move... Uh, starting from the origin, if I just go to the right one place, that will be my x-intercept, which is on the x-axis. To find y-intercept, all right, find y when x equal to 0. So let's substitute 0 for x. That will give me 10 times 0 plus 2y equal to 10. 10 times 0 is 0, so that leaves me with positive 2y equal to 10. Divide both sides by 2, y is equal to 5. All right. So this is basically finding two points and plot them. Okay. But this is, this is just not any two points. This is specifically finding the x and the y intercept. So 0, 5, 0 for x means do not go right and left. Simply just go up 5. So once you got two points, the homework should... Um, connect them with the line for you. So that's my equation of the line. All right. So this one is not, you know, this particular example, I might end up with some sort of fraction. That's okay. I can have fraction answers. I just cannot use fraction or decimal to, to graph by hand. So let me go ahead and find the x and y intercept real quick one more time. To find x intercept, that means find x when the y is 0. So if I substitute 0 for y, that will give me negative 1 third x minus 0 equal to negative 3. 
negative 0 means 0, so that term is gone. So that leaves me with negative 1 third x equal to negative 3. So if I use my calculator to divide both sides by negative 1 third, all right, I know division of a fraction means times the reciprocal. So my x, in, my x should probably be equal to 9, all right. So my x-intercept is at 9, 0. Oh, so maybe this one will turn out to be okay. Don't have any fractions. Let's find the y-intercept real quick. Y-intercept means find y when x equals to 0. So if I substitute 0 for x, negative 1 over 3 times 0, minus y equal to negative 3. Negative 1 third times 0 is 0, so that term is gone. Be careful with your signs. This is negative y equal to negative 3. So if I will switch, swap the, the two terms back and forth, y should equal to 3. Or I can divide both sides by negative 1. My y is still equal to 3. So my y-intercept is at 0, comma, 3. All right. So this one doesn't, you know, these two examples does not ask me to graph. So just in case, if you ever have to graph the x and y-intercept, okay, just make sure you remember x-intercept should be on the x-axis. Y-intercept should be on the y-axis. All right, this example says use our knowledge for x and y-intercept to choose the correct graph. So the easiest way to do this is just finding, your, finding the x and y-intercept and then choose the correct graph. So let's do this again. x-intercept, find x when y is equal to 0. So I'm going to substitute 0 for x. So that's x plus, I'm going to substitute for y, excuse me. That would be x plus 3 times 0 equal to 3. All right, positive 3 times 0 is 0, so that term is gone. So x is equal to 3. So my x-intercept is 3, 0. So 3, 0 will either be this graph or this graph. So let me put a dot right there. All right, let's find the y-intercept real quick, y-intercept means find the y value when x equals to 0. So if I substitute 0 for x, that will be 0 plus 3 times y equal to 3. 0 just means that term is not there. So th that, that means I should have 3y equal to 3, y is equal to 1. Okay, so 0, 1 got to be this one right here. So this should be my graph I will choose. All right. So, in this lecture video, we talk about how to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept and how we can use the x and y-intercept to plot two points, connect them with the line. So, x-intercept means where means the line cross over the x-axis, y-intercept means where the line cross over the y-axis. Alright, that will conclude this lecture video. Thank you for watching.